Hello, today we're playing Red Baron on uh, Arcade Cabinet, I guess. Uh, I've never uh, seen this game. Uh, you can't even ascertain anything based on the uh, the art on the side of the cabinet. I just saw this and I was like, are those cannons? Uh, I was trying to hit like... Let's just hit... Uh, let's get going. Oh, jeez. Okay. Press start, free play. Uh, enter is start, right? Enter is not start. Oh, help. I'm already stuck. What do I do? Oh. Apparently, you have to use the mouse to start. Oh my gosh. This is already crazy. What is going on? Why is that guy... Okay. Why was that guy so hell-bent on crashing right into me? But, uh, yeah, I was trying to get the, the capture set up. And you have to hit, like... Sometimes you can hit Alt-Tab, uh, and sometimes you have to hit, like, Alt-Enter. Because then if a game... If you minimize a game... Then it won't, then OBS won't detect it or whatever. Hmm. So I was trying to do that, and I did start up the game for like one second. So I was going to make a point to say I knew nothing about this game, but I saw one second of gameplay, so... Just got to keep it 100 with y'alls, you know. Goddamn. Boy. I was not able to figure out how to do anything. Oh. Okay, space is, uh... Shoot, uh, shoot pellets. Okay. This is actually, uh, I guess not bad. I mean, there's no, uh, I mean, did the arcade, uh, cabinet have, like, not have any... I mean, I don't know. Okay, it doesn't have any kind of, like, map. I can't tell where I'm going. I have no idea where I need to go. Do I just need to shoot everything? Sometimes you're not supposed to shoot all the things. So just go around and shoot the dudes? Alright. Well then, uh, there has to be some kind of challenge. Like, how did they make money off this? Unless it was, like, impossible. Man. This thing is, like, too agile, almost. Like, you, you like, whip back and forth. Uh, just like your hair, right? Apparently that was, like, a thing where people just go, I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. My sister showed me that, and I was just like, I want a new sister. Like, what's the point of that? She's like, no, it's just, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, I whip my hair back and forth. I was like, okay, but explain it to me. Explain the joke. Explain why it's, is it, is it even funny? Like, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I didn't get a straight answer out of her. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just an old fogey. I guess I just don't understand humor. Whereas I'm the one watching all the, you know, the Bill Burr specials and whatnot. You know, I actually watch and enjoy stand-up comedy quite a bit. And, you know, I'm like the raunchier the better, as long as it's funny, you know. I'm not a big fan of, um, who was it? It was Bob Saget, who uh, basically, he wasn't that funny, but he just, like, said a bunch of dirty shit. And it's like, well, there also has to be, like, jokes that it has to be, like, funny, you know. You can't just pile on the raunchiness, and then that equals good comedy show. Okay, so, um, I guess in an arcade game, there's no, like, story is not necessary. But it would kind of be, like, like, it would be kind of nice to know, like, why I'm doing this, I suppose. It didn't even occur to me that Red Baron would be, like, an airplane game. But, uh, what I was trying to say a little while ago, like, the graphics, like, they're not, they're not good, but it's a lot better than, um... It's, uh, it's a lot better than, um, what was it? What was it called? Battle Tanks? Like, if you play, like, an NES wireframe game, this is actually better than that. But then again, we're just, like, I guess it was probably easier for them to make the graphics, like, wireframe graphics when there's, like, no... I mean, I guess those mountains technically are scenery, but, like, there's nothing... There's hardly any, like, scenery, where, whereas, like, the NES game Battle Tanks was at least, like, trying to, like, have an environment... They could have at least, like, put a thing that shows, like, your altitude. Or, like, a compass or something. Something to help you out, you know? Is the goal to just go around and shoot things? Like, how do I get to the next level? Are there even levels? I got a bonus life? If you shoot the, the flying satellite dishes, do those give you, um... Do those give you things sometimes? I didn't get anything that time. What do I, I like... I'm not understanding, like, what the audio feedback is. Oh, jeez. There's no, um... There's no... I don't... Well... Then again, I don't 100% know, but I'm pretty sure there's no way to, like, break 
or throttle, or, you know, let up on the throttle. Boy, I actually haven't seen a ship in a while. So if I could, uh, if I could, like, increase or decrease the throttle, that would be nice. Boy, so what was the challenge of this? Do you just keep playing it and, ev and eventually you just get lots of stuff shot at you and eventually you can't dodge it? Is that, uh, how this game made money? Okay, I feel like I could use a couple of invincibility frames. Don't get effed right off the bat, you know? I mean, I kind of feel like I'm doing okay, but also not great. I mean, how are you supposed to, like, die? like you just kind of wiggle around and try to not get hit, but sometimes you just get hit, and it's like, what are you supposed to do? Huh, great score. I mean, was it great? Let's, um... Ugh, I, got, I gotta use the mouse every time, as far as I know. I mean, maybe there's extra buttons that do other things, but... But I'm not aware of them. So we're not getting any, uh, indication that I'm, like, getting closer to, like, a goal or something, you know? Like, when you, even when you play, like, other games, you play, like, Asteroids. You destroy all the Asteroids, then you go to, like, the next level, or you play, like, uh... I always get centipede and millipede mixed up, but you play one of those, and then you d just you destroy all the jams, and then you go on to the next level. Or you play, oh, what's the game when all the aliens come down at you? It's just called Alien. Yeah, I actually can't think of it right now. But uh, you destroy all of those, then you go on to the next level. You know, there's there doesn't seem to be any of that with this game. Okay. Why did those ones, why did I get a do 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 Like, what is, what does that sound affect me, I wonder? I mean, I've, it happened when I destroyed the planes, but I've destroyed plenty of other planes and it didn't make that noise, so yeah, I have no idea. It's like right there, why is it getting more and more high-pitched? Oh wait, that was happening as I got closer to the ground. Maybe that's your indication of how low to the ground you are. Maybe, yeah, I don't. I don't hundred percent know. Huh, I want, can you just hold the fire button down? Like, infinitely, I wonder? I haven't been doing it, but I have been somewhat liberal with it. Oh, okay. It does overheat eventually, but there's no indication. Behind you? Huh, so when they fly directly into you, you don't die right away. They fly, like, through you. And then turn around, they do a quick 180, and then shoot you from behind, apparently. But then again, I, I mean, I guess in terms of, like, realism... I mean, I know this is very far from realistic, but, um... You're, you know, the people that would pl fly these kind of planes didn't have any gun overheater, like, instrument or anything, right? Boy, I sucked terrible, uh, terribly huge balls at that last one. I was gonna say, like, some kind of, like, suck big time or suck fat balls or something, but then I was just like, but then it was, like, terrible. I was like, terribly huge balls? Can I save it? Um, okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it uh, for this game. I mean, it, again, this was, met, this was made back in the day where you, you were just glad to, like, play video games. So, I mean, I couldn't imagine anybody spending any amount of, like, time with this. Um, I mean, I guess if you played it as a kid and you want to, like, relive your memories by playing it as an adult... But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, uh, not, not, uh, not a super great game. Actually, you know what? This is better, this is better than the game I played last week, Preventive Strike. Actually, I didn't notice, I mispronounced it in the, in the intro, I said Preventative Strike. And then when I went to type it into the title, uh, to upload it, I got that little, like, red underline saying that it's, like, not the right, that it's, like, not spelled correctly. So I'm like, okay, how you spell preventative? So I went to the title screen and I was like, oh, it is preventive. Yeah, oops. But then again, pre the word preventive is a word. Like you say, preventative medicine. I don't know why Windows 10 doesn't um, recognize that as a word or anything. Yeah, I guess uh, because I didn't know anything about this game, um, I had already selected it before I knew that it was going to be like an airplane game. So yeah, I guess we did an uh, airplane game for one-off uh, twice in a row. That was not intentional. Okay, so yeah, that's going to do it uh, for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.